Hi, good morning everyone. I have not heard from you guys for about one week, maybe one week. I have not uploaded anything and I have not done any videos. The reason for this is um, I have been busy booking for a trip going to the Philippines for my family. But uh, it took me a while there to look for the best. I've been trying to look at the fluctuation of the prices and it was not going anywhere. It was a little bit more expensive than a month ago because of the coronavirus. Uh, people are scared and all the planes that is diverted basically straight to the Philippines um, or maybe will go to, to, to Japan, but all in China, China area, area, they diverted everything. So uh, hopefully that we can eradicate or control the spread of this infection, but I finally said to myself, I'm gonna go ahead and book it before it gets worse. And I will refuse dwelling on the fear of getting infected. All we can do is basically do our own thing, you know, wash your hands, put some hand sanitizers. And if you are in a crowd, maybe put mask on, but avoid crowded area, but in the plane it's crowded. So you just disinfect everything including disinfect the one near you okay don't this i'm just kidding so today by the way i'm gonna thank everybody for helping me out in this channel okay and commenting more i'm really uh enjoying myself answering responding to people uh this is because i still have few few people to respond to and few comments so i hope if it's gonna grow a little bit more, I will have more time for you. But anyway, um, I have about 300, something like that, 320 subscriber right now. So that's really good. Um, granting that I have started my, my channel last August. So it's really a gradual process. I'm not gonna push it because sometimes if you have a lot, like a lot more, of a subscriber so you're gonna be working more because they're expecting for you to do more right I can understand that and uh, please do not forget to subscribe okay and uh, share or comment or like and um, or dislike whatever so today I would like to share with you about the Philippines the Philippines biodiversity um, it's about the insects okay they are notorious notorious and very uh sometimes they are they get into your nerves the very last nerves right and do you know that uh, the biodiversity in the philippines is so well known because of the climate and the tro because it's purely tropical the climate and um the last forest still we have that so it contribute to that and we have about 21,000 species of insects in our country. And uh, what I'm gonna mention here is the, are the ones that we have available in my own house, in my own turf, okay? I do not know anything about the others, okay? Number one, mosquitoes. Oh my gosh, those are the ones that I would like to just eradicate them in my house and in my field because they are really carriers of a lot of bacteria and a lot of viruses and a lot of things that can kill people you know so anyway they can cause malaria they can cause dengue and um and they're bad number two spiders they're not that bad unless if they would have these spider webs inside your house because it's so um, um, they harbors a lot they harbor a lot of uh, how do you call that um, dust we got centipedes do you know I got bit I told you that in one of my videos I got bit by a centipede it was in my coat and it was so painful it would have been a big one I probably would have gone to the hospital to get me some hydrocortisone shot 
otherwise all you have all I did is just put some alcohol and hydrocortisone and it went it was okay it got it got better but I've seen a big one some big ones like that it would really inflict you inflict uh, or cause you inflammatory process all right the, those leaf miners leaf miners or some of those caterpillars they're bad b-a-d because some of those has hairs when you touch them it would it would have these toxins or these hairs all over your body experience that when i was little so what my mom usually do is get some of those um lemoncito the lemon she would squirt that all over my body and I mean, it stinks so bad that you have to, you can shout because it hurts so bad. But after that, how many minutes later, everything is gone and you'll be normal. All the inflammation are gone because sometimes they can really, you will have rashes all over your body. That's how bad it was when I was growing up. Okay, another one that we have is termites. The termites are bad. They can really eat your whole house. That's why I refuse to have lumber in my house. My house are cemented as well as the, uh, the we have we have um, steel bars and trusses that are steel, so they cannot eat my house. But they eat your furniture. If you have bahay kubo, in about few years later, you're not gonna have anything. Okay, that's. And it's gonna eat you alive, gonna eat your pocket basically, because you're not gonna have a lot of money left, right? All right, now regarding ants. The ants, I do not really uh, hear any kind of, uh, I do not know any kind of diseases that it carries, but it is notorious. It can go into your house, they eat your food, they go to your trash can and infiltrate the whole house that's how bad it is in fact they would get into the crevice of your house and they will be parading without without you knowing and sometimes they have those ants the small ones the smallest one it would go into your ear it hurts so what you do with that you know you put a squirt of um mineral not mineral oil baby oil squirt it in your ear and then when and then after that let it stay there for a little bit and that thing because you cannot just the more you would um the the more you uh how do you call that the more you sometimes you there's a tendency that you would have to put some sort of device to get rid of it the more you poke on it, the more it go inside your eardrum and it hurts so bad. So what you do is put a squirt of oil, just relax, okay, <laughs> finally. And then after that, you go to the other side and let that thing drip and the ants would, the ant would go with it and you will feel better. And that's the only way you can get rid of that terrible ant, okay. now. We have toki, right? Toki, those are kind of lizard in your house, the big ones. I'm talking about this big, okay? One foot and as thick as this. Those are like geek, they're lizard, they're gecko, geico or gecko, something like that. And those small lizards that you have on top of the, of your ceiling, let them live, okay? Don't eradicate them because they help eradicate the insects inside your house. One time I've heard this, uh, gecko making a noise like this i was wondering what it was i said i check on it the gecko had a centipede in his mouth he was trying to swallow that thing can you believe that and the centipede is about this big it it was almost as half size of the body of the lizard so they're good to have so don't eradicate them okay so Eradication can be done by pest control. You have that availability maybe in your local stores, local market. But you got to be very careful not to eradicate everything because those insects are good for the bio, as I've said, diversity and ecological system of the earth. Okay, because they help uh, disintegrate 
all those spoiled, uh, like your your um, scraps, uh, anything like leaves, they would they would disintegrate them. So the, 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 uh, those became a part of um, they become a part of your soil, and they're very good for the earth. So don't eradicate everything, okay? Uh, the more poison you put in them, that might cause them to to um, form into mutants. Can you believe that? So you know what mutants are? They can be as big as a human being, and then they can they can um, form an army and attack you. But I'm just kidding. But um, I'm gonna go over with you the first aid, the first aid care that we can do to help you out with all those uh, issues that I brought about. And uh, otherwise, uh, have a good day, guys, and enjoy the springtime. And there's going to be a change of time this coming weekend, uh, daylight savings time. So the clock would move forward. So you're going to lose some sleep, right? Those people that are going to work. But for retirees, it's not going to. It's not going to affect me very much anymore. I'm enjoying my retirement, actually. And thank you, guys. And maybe the next video I'm going to have, it will be in the Philippines. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.